There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate, hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. But for this, I hope my time will yet come. Dark Justicias are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. I think I know what you mean. There's an undeniable rapport, and yet we haven't made time for each other. Time alone. Easily remedied, if you like. I know a place. Not just yet. Let's choose our moment. Some quiet night, when the others are asleep and there's no distractions. I'll come for you. Surely, it has to do something. Shadowheart's attention is consumed by a strange box that she turns over in her hands. The box is inscribed with glyphs similar to those used by the Githyanki. In an instant, Shadowheart hides the box from view. It's nothing, trust me. Beautiful evening, isn't it? You feel Shadowheart's deep protectiveness of the artifact. Though she doesn't understand it, she believes that her fate is entwined with it somehow. Exactly. 
I'm just waiting for you to get really desperate before naming my price. I'd like some time alone now. We'll talk soon. It seems to be the perfect night to spend a little time together. Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of course. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Very practical. We could have toasted to that every night so far. Here's to many more. Survival. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins or anything like that. Something about you. You must have an extraordinary affinity for the darkness. I'm jealous. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things... They're lost to me right now. Hm. I did. And you remembered. You're sweet. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. What? I know. But you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. That didn't hurt, did it? Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. Well, I hope. I was going to say the very same thing as soon as I worked up my courage a little. I can't recall the last time I shared so much with someone. Maybe I never did before. It meant a lot to me. You mean a lot to me. And that was before the kiss. I hope so, too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well.
very serious of you. But go ahead. It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a Dark Justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I'm already blessed to have you at my side, after all. Fine. What's on your mind? Quite splendidly, to give credit where it's due. You and I have shared some good times together, and it seems we have plenty in common. <laughs> 